We are Greta and Tim Wright. Um, we own Wisebird Cider Co. And the name comes from, it's actually a long story because we went back and forth about names for so long. And I would throw out names that Tim would hate, like, for example, Blind Pig. No. Blind Pig finds acorn. Well, I didn't want the find acorn, but we did. I did want Blind Pig. And we had had this fruit crate art in our house, and it was a uh, wise bird fruit crate Orange Grove. Yeah, an Orange Grove, someplace in California, and it's a 1920s print. And it was this beautiful owl, and we loved the colors, we loved the owl, and we actually loved watching owls and looking for hawks when we're out driving around. And so as we were trying to decide whether or not we should go down this road of opening this company, Wise Bird was always in the background and I was always coming up with dumb names. So at the end we just said, why not Wise Bird? We need something wise guiding us in this potentially foolish endeavor. So <laughs> we decided on Wise Bird. Well, we started making cider um, in our kitchen probably about five years ago. And it, it started as a hobby and quickly became Something that we're spending all of our, our all of our free time and money on, lots of money, and uh, you know taking vacations around, going to visit cideries and going to visit orchards and going to do coursework at Cornell to you know to improve how we made cider. And you know, long story short, we submitted some some of our home brew cider to uh, Glint Cap, which is one of the largest international cider and perry competitions. It's in Michigan and. We submitted in the amateur category and won a gold and a silver, and that's when we decided we would sell our house and uproot <laughs> our lives and come to come take to our six-month-old <laughs> in the car and go across the country. Yeah. By the end of the, the the year, we'll have close to ten products available. So different variations of single varietal ciders, blends of, of different apples, um, and we're talking about. You know, heirloom heritage style cider, so made from heritage style cider made from heirloom apples, a combination of heirloom and modern apples. So we're talking about apples like Ashmead's Kernel and Harrison, um, Stamen and Wine Sap. We have uh, on the more modern side, we have uh, we'll release the first of our Commonwealth series of, of ciders, which is a cider made from apples that are from Kentucky growers. So uh, the, that first product is called Commonwealth Gold. It features Gold Rush as the apple that came from Evans Orchard and Cider Mill up in Georgetown. So uh, we'll, we'll be opening with that product on June 7th. We're really excited about that and, and hope you know people will come out and try all of our flagships. Yeah.